All right, guys, so let's go ahead and get into this. The first thing that we have to do is we have to make our three calibration solutions. As you can see right here, we have the 6.86, 4.00, and 9.18. The cup that you see in the back is distilled water. We are going to be using distilled water in order to do this. This is what we have to do. We have to take 250 milliliters of water and put it into each cup. That's basically a cup of distilled water. We're gonna put a cup, 250 milliliters of distilled water into each cup. And then we're going to pour the pH solutions inside the cup and stir it up. Make sure that you stir it up until it's dissolved. All right, now that that's done, Let's go ahead and get our meter out. Now what we're doing is we're going to calibrate our pH tester. This is very important. If you guys remember, this is where I messed up at and my first 10 days of growing didn't go so well because I did not do this step. So in order to calibrate your pH tester, it's pretty easy. You're going to take the tester and we're going to put it inside of the 6.86 solution first. Obviously, you have to turn it on first. But once you put it inside the solution, you're going to hold down the calibrate button for five seconds. Once you do that, you let it go and it's going to flash three times and it's going to show you 6.86, just like it's on the packet. After that's done, you're going to clean the electrode with distilled water and then you're going to dry it. Next, we're going to go on to the second one. Obviously, make sure that the tester is on. You're going to stick it inside the solution. Hold the calibrate button for five seconds. When you release it, it's going to flash three times and you're going to see 4.00 on the meter. If you see this, go ahead and clean the electrode with distilled water and dry it once again. Now finally, we're at the 9.18 solution. You do the same thing basically. Make sure that your meter is on, put it inside the solution. This time, we actually need to wait and let it, the reading stabilize. Once it does that, once again, hold that calibrate button down for five seconds. Once you do that, you're gonna release it. It's gonna flash three times and you're gonna see 9.18. Once you do that, once again, we're going to clean the electrode with distilled water and dry it. And there you go. Your pH tester is calibrated and it's ready to go. As we all know as growers, you know I'm a first time grower, but if you've been a grower for any amount of time one day, then you already know that you need to have your pH tester calibrated so that it will give you the right reading. If you don't, there's a big chance that your plants are going to be nitrogen deficient or have other deficiencies because your pH level is not correct.